Hi. Hi. Welcome to the fourth video on tensor calculus. In this video, we will discuss what is meant by a free index. Suppose if we have a consider the following equation. Consider the following equation y1 is equal to a11h1 plus a12h2 plus a13h3 and one more equation y2 is equal to a21h1 plus a22h2 plus a23h3 and we have y3 is equal to a31h1 plus a32h2 plus a33h3 so by observing these three equations we, we can uh, by observing these three equations we can write this one in a matrix form so how we can write it in a matrix form is we can write it uh, we can write it as y1 y2 y3 is equal to a11 a12 a13 a21 a22 a23 a31 a32 and a33 multiplied by h1 h2 and h3 so so this is a column vector this is a square matrix and this is a, this is and this is a column vector so we can write this one as so we can write this this as y is equal to a matrix a multiplied by a column matrix x yes. So we know the so we know this one from our linear algebra. We know this. So now we are going to use the a ten, a tensorial notation. So we can observe here that the index one, one, two, two, three, three, and in the second equation one, one, two, two. 3 3 similarly in the third equation 1 1 2 2 and 3 3 so these indexes are the summed indexes so what i can do is i can rewrite the first equation as y1 is equal to a1 j x j and y2 is equal to a two j x j and y three is equal to a three j x j. So we can observe that it is summed on j. So if I expand this equation, I get a one one x one plus a one two x two plus a one three x three, which is nothing but my first equation. So it's it is summed on J. It is summed on J. Fine. So now we can rewrite these three equations. We can rewrite these three equations. And in the initial notation, and in the initial notation, we can write it as y i is equal to y i is equal to a i j xj so we can write it like this so it is summed on j so i is the called as the so i is called as the free index and j is the as we know it is the repeated index repeated index I is the free index and j is the repeated index. Now what we can able to observe here is that 
now what we can able to observe here is that the index j it is being repeated twice so it is a repeated index we are clear with this whereas this index i it is repeated only once so in j in the in the so in lhs it is been repeated only once and in the rhs also it has been repeated only once so what i mean is free index will be repeated only once only one time and the one more point is it has to be repeated in each term so one more point is this free index has to appear or it must appear it must appear in each term it must appear in each term otherwise the initial notation is meaningless so in the next video we will look at some examples using both free index and also repeated index thank you